the 1920s, the prohibition years, violent gangs were gaining more and more power by the trade of illegal alcohol. It was a tough time for the average Joe, but not for me. My name is Vinny Canoli, and I make an honest living as an enforcer for the mob. But it ain't all fun and games, of course. One time I got a call from a mob boss called Mr. Beluccio. He needed me to come to Thugtown and find some guy named Frank. Thugtown. There was something wrong with this city. Strange reports had been coming in about bizarre incidents and gruesome murder cases. Violent rioters had overrun entire areas inside the city. And it seemed the officials had lost all control. It's been days now since the last contact. But nevertheless, I had a job to do. So here I was, about to step in a freaking nightmare. What's going on up there? It's no waiting. Ah, my next customer. Gun. Thank you. 
like it's Napoleon blown apart! <laughs> Man, I love this job! It's gonna hate in the morning. Stay that way. Ah. <sighs> 
Sorry, it ain't personal. I just love killing you. <laughs> Next step right up, 50 bullets, no waiting. Ah, my next customer. Mmm, that's some good canary. Safety was on. face around here.
Mmm! That's some good cannoli! Like a girl and take it like a man. Hey, pal! Up here! Can you just help me out here a second and get rid of these guys for me? My butt's starting to hurt! Thanks for saving my ass from being turned into supper. Don't mention! But who are you, and what the hell is going on here? I haven't even set one foot ashore, and they try to bite it off! I hear you, pal. I've been stuck up here for days now. My name's Rusty. All I know is people all over town started turning into friggin' zombies after St. Patty's a couple of days ago. Before we knew it, the whole town was overrun. The only thing holding out is the gangsters, you know, armed to the teeth and all. Yeah, you picked a hell of a time to pay us a visit, I can tell you that. Yeah, well, I ain't here for the architecture. My name's Vinny Cannoli, and I'm looking for a guy called Frankie to fly. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh, yeah. Frank. Always in trouble, that kid. What are you looking for him for? I gotta find him and take him straight to the big boss of the Beluccios. The Beluccios? <laughs> You're on the wrong side of town, pal. Their turf is on the north side of the river that cuts Thugville in half. You want my advice? Get the hell out while you still have a pair of legs to do so. Can't do that. They pay me a lot of dough to get him there without so much as a scratch. So I guess he's got to be pretty important to them. And that makes him important to me. So can you get me to him or not? I think I know where he is. But it's too dangerous out here to talk now. Meet me at the pawn shop at the end of the harbor. It ain't far from here. We'll talk there.
good cannoli. Good. Here's an extra one for you. Hmm. That's some good cannoli. Stayed that way. Oh, hey, you're making me nervous here. Million to go. Hmm, <laughs> that's some good cannoli. Next step right up. Fifty bullets, no waiting. Ah, my next customer. your guts a bit. Some good glory. Eat me. No, oh, wait, no, I mean, stop eating me. Freaking lunatics! Ah! 
Nice place you got here. Yours? It says Rusty's on the front, don't it? Yeah, I ain't leaving this place again as long as there's zombies out there. You're welcome to stay if you want. A guy like you can come in handy. Thanks, but I already got a day job. Now let's cut to the chase. Where's Frankie? Well, my best guess would be he's being held by the Bonino gang. After the zombie outbreak, they started looking for it. The Bonino gang? Who are they? The Boninos rule this side of the city, everything south of the river. They don't get along so well with the Baluchios. They've been hitting the mattresses as long as I can remember. And I'll go there and have a friendly chat with them. Where are they hiding? Hiding? They got a joint right in the center of town. Real classy place. <laughs> nice girls, too. To get there, you gotta go through the back alleys. I wouldn't risk that on a broke dick dog. It's crawling with zombies out there. And the Boninos got goons all over town. So what am I, a nobody? I can take a couple of stiffs walking around, and I eat goons for breakfast, capiche? Whatever you say, pal. Good luck out there. I bet that's gonna hurt in the morning. Take sides against the family again, that's for sure. Some good cannoli! Mm. Hey, stop screaming like a girl and take it like a man!
day! Oh, I'm sorry, I thought the safety was on. Some good cannoli! <laughs> 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 You'll never take sides against the family again, that's for sure! Good. Here's the next one for you. I'm going to know him!
remember that made a hole. Nowadays, Get that guy! Don't quit your day job! Making me nervous here. Oh, 
Doesn't anybody stay dead anymore? This time.
Mmm, that's some good cannoli. Made a hole. Who the hell are you? I'm the Undertaker, and your boxes are ready. What are you talking about? You got five seconds to tell me where you're holding Frankie before I feed you to your own customers. Who does this guy think he is? Louie, Cheech, break his legs for me, will you? Who's this guy? Oh, oh, oh. This time. Hmm. That's some good cannoli. Just blow the crap out of it! his legs! Some good cannoli! Get him! Uh, ow! Uh, uh, ah! uh, uh, ah! Some good cannoli! Me neighbors here. I was just once I would see a friendly face around here.
no good. First you show up talking crazy, and suddenly every crumb in the city goes bananas. And now this whack job out there looking for you. What's that all about, huh? Sonny, please! I don't know nothing, I swear I... I... Don't make me hurt you, Frankie. I swear to God. Ah! Hit the bricks, punk! I'll take it from here! You got some balls, you. Walking in here like that, I'm gonna teach you some respect, and I'm gonna have fun doing it.
more brains than I thought. Thank God, mister. They was gonna whack me. Don't mention it. Now let's get out of here before they realize what hit them. Oh, okay. Wait for me. Who are you? The name's Vinny. You can thank your boss, Mr. Beluccio. He's the one paying me to save your ass. But first, I want to know why are you so friggin' important that he's making me go through hoops to get you to his place alive? That's pretty obvious. You see, there's only one way to get out of this doomed city, and that's through the air. What are you talking about, through the air? With that thing over there. What the hell? That's right, Mr. Vinny. With Mr. Beluccio's blimp. And guess who's the only one who can fly it? You're a pilot? That's right. Did my part in the Great War when the old continent was slugging it out. Spare me the Patriot crap. Let's go to the Beluccio's already so I can get paid and we can all leave this hellhole. Ah, but we can't. The Army's built a stronghold around the bridge. They're shooting at everyone who tries to breach the perimeter, zombie or not. They even got the bridge rigged with dynamite. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. We gotta cross that bridge, and if they're not part of the solution, then they're part of the problem. We got guns, too. <laughs> Come on, let's go.